Colonization and Succession An ecosystem can change due to natural phenomena, such as volcano eruption, earthquakes, and drafts, and human activities, such as mining. Pioneer species, a species that begins to colonize an area where there are no other living things. Colonization, plants start to conquer an uninhabited area, breed, and form colonies in that area. Succession, a few species of dominant plants in a habitat are gradually being replaced by other species called successor. The mangrove area consists of three zones which are coastal zone, middle zone, and inland zone. Coastal zone is the area that is most exposed to big waves where Avicennia species and Sonoratia species can be found, and they are known as pioneer species, they are adapted to an enlarged root system and pneumatophores which are breathing roots. Next, middle zone is situated along the river, closer to the estuaries, the area is inhabited by Rhizophora species plants that have tangled prop roots. Inland zone is situated further into the land, the area is inhabited by Bruguera species which have buttress roots. During high tide, the water will bring along mud and organic substances. When the tide recedes, the enlarged root system and pneumatophores will trap the mud and organic substances. As a result, mud accumulation slowly begins, causing the soil becomes higher and denser. Rhizophora species succeeds and replaces the pioneer species. In middle zone, tangled prop roots of Rhizophora species trap twigs and mud which are washed away and block the flow of water, the trapped mud causes sedimentation to occur much faster. Besides, the riverbank becomes higher and drier as less seawater overflows during high tides, the soil becomes less suitable for the growth of Rhizophora species, instead, it is more suitable for Bruguera species. Bruguera species succeeds and replaces Rhizophora species. While in inland zone, the soil becomes higher, harder, and only flows with seawater during high tides. Sedimentation process forms a new swamp that projects out towards the sea. Then, the one-time shore gets further away from the sea and the ground changes into a land which is suitable for land trees, such as Nipa fruticans and Pandanus species. Lastly, the land trees succeed and replace Bruguera species. Importance of Mangrove Ecosystem Mangrove ecosystem acts as protection zone, and provides fishery resources, forestry resources, and food and medicine resources. Protection zone Become a natural barrier to lessen the impact of strong waves and wind that reach the seashore area. Offer a protected site for small fish, shrimps and crabs from predators as well as swift movements of currents and waves. Can become preserved areas where various species of migratory birds can search for food. Fishery resources. Sea products become a source of income for fishermen living near the mangrove areas. The wetlands are conducive for fish rearing in floating cages and for breeding commercial species. Forestry resources. Mangrove woods can be used to build boats fish traps and building frames mangrove woods can be used to make handicrafts mangrove woods is burnt in the furnace to produce a type of fuel called charcoal food and medicine resources the fruit of avancenia species can be consumed as a vegetable the nut can be boiled and eaten whereas its flower produces honey the fruit of sonoratia species is used in the production of drinks the fruit of nipa species can be eaten and water from the fruit can be used in the production of vinegar and nera. The bark of Bruguera species tree can be used to treat diarrhea. Thank you.